this is where we stopped in the last video. Uh, we said uh, many things, but the most, uh, this is where we stopped. That uh, this is the school, this is the hall, and this is the entrance of the park. And this is N, which is the church. I should have written C for church, but for some reason I wrote N probably because of this M. Okay, so M N is the church. So basically what they're asking you is, we ultimately have to find the coordinate of the church, that is X comma Y. And from that we can find the distance. That's what our ultimate goal is, to find the coordinate of N or the church. That will help us to find the distance. Now, what are the facts that we know? Okay, we know that SH, line segment SH, is perpendicular to MN. They are perpendicular and PN is also perpendicular to MN. So if two line segments are perpendicular to the same uh, line, then you can say these two are parallel. So we can say these two are S SH is parallel to PN. So if you know the equation, if you know the gradient of this would be the same this and this will have the same gradient and this when this will have gradient which when they multiply you get negative one so these are the facts that you should know so I will delete I don't need this we know the equation of so let me delete this much first so first we want to find we already know uh, uh, we have to find uh, I don't know oh uh, yeah okay so we'll have to find the equation. Did we find the equation? No, I don't think so. Okay, so we'll find the equation of SH first. From SH we can find the equation of, so this is the our plan. So we'll find the equation of SH. Okay, from SH we'll find the equation of MN. And from MN we can find the equation of PN. And then we are going to say we're going to use graph uh, to find x, x, y. So this is the this is our plan. So from SH we'll find MN, from MN we'll find PN, and from PN and MN we'll find x, y. Okay. So we'll do it very fast. So let us find equation of equation of SH equation of SH. So what's the gradient? So I'll write M S H like this. Okay, so equation of M S H rise over run. So for rise is minus four hundred uh, sorry from one fifty to one fifty to four fifty. So the rise of three hundred. And what's the run? Run is from minus four hundred to one hundred, which is five hundred. So which is three fifty. Okay, so equation of SH would be Y is equal to 3X over 5 plus C. And now we can put any one of this point into this. So we can say Y is 450. 450 is equal to 3 times. Uh, what is X? When X, Y is 450, this is 100 over 5 plus C. So this gives me 450, so let me delete this, 450, you can do this on a calculator, but as it's an excellence question, so this is 300 divided by 5, 300 divided by 5, uh, 300 divided by 5 plus C, okay, so this is 60, so 450 minus 60 is equal to C which implies C is 390 and does it equation it does make sense this is almost 390 okay so we can say this has the equation of y is equal to 3 fifth of 3 fifth x or 3x over 3x over 5 plus 390 okay so that is this equation so from this we can find also this equation so we know so let us find the equation of p n because they are parallel so let me delete this 
this was what we were discussing in the last video okay so I'll try to delete uh, I'll try to delete the whole thing in one go uh, delete oops this is gone okay now we want to find the equation of Pn so let us write equation of Pn okay so we can say y is equal to 3 fifth x plus c okay and we can put this point here so y is minus 250 is equal to 3 times 300 all right over phi plus c y is yes you're right here so minus 250 is equal to so this is 900 I'll try to delete this so let us use a calculator I'm getting tired now so this is uh, over 5 plus C okay so where's my calculator so this is 900 divided by 5 is 180 okay and uh, okay so let me write that so minus 250 is equal to 180 plus c so if you take away 180 from both sides c is minus 430 okay so equation of pn pn has this equation y is equal to 3 3x over 5 minus 430 and it does make sense this has a positive gradient and this will intersect somewhere at minus 430 okay that's fine okay now we want to find the equation of mn so let me use a different color uh, equation of mn equation of line mn which is a perpendicular bisector so we can say if the gradient of sh and pn is 3 fifth the gradient of mn would be minus 5 thirds because the product of the gradient has to be negative 1 so it will be 5x over 3 plus c okay and this line passes through the midpoint and in the last video we sh we, uh, we saw that the midpoint is minus 150 comma 300 okay if you add the x coordinate you'll understand that so this line mn is passing through minus 150 300 so i can put 300 in place of y is equal to minus 5 times 150 minus 150 over 3 plus c so let me use a calculator so minus 5 times minus 150 which is 750 divided by 3 is 250 okay so this is 300 is equal to 250 plus c which implies c is 50 so equation of mn is y is equal to minus 5x over 3 plus 50 does the graph make sense always go and always look whether the graph is making sense this m and yes this is passing through 50 and it has a negative gradient okay now we want to find the point of intersection x and y and for that we can use we can solve this equation these two equation of mn and pn so you can solve these two equation and uh, this is the equation of uh, so the equation of pn is y is equal to 3 fifth x or 3 x over 5 minus 430 you can solve this as simultaneous equation and get it but i'm going to use the graphic calculator i'm probably a little tired now okay so i'll go to graph you can also go to equation uh, let us go to uh, so i have already this equation okay so let me delete this first so that you can see what i'm typing okay the first equation is 
it is 3x divided by 5 that is so let me type in the equation of mn which is minus 5x divided by 3 plus 50 and this is the equation of pn so let me put that up which is 3x divided by 5 minus 430 now to get the answer i have to have a proper scale so shift v window the scale is fine okay so minus 450 to 400 on x axis and five minus 500 to 500 on the y axis that's fine so this is the point of intersection gsol intersection so this is 212 i see this is 212 and this is 303 okay so i'm rounding it to the whole number so this point so you can say x comma y i hope you can see my messy work is 212 comma 303 okay so now we're going to use pythagoras theorem to find the distance so this point let me delete uh, use a smaller eraser so this point is this is 212 comma minus 303 did i write minus no i didn't write minus 303 okay minus 303 okay so this is minus 303 okay now to find the distance uh the distance you can use the distance formula but distance formula is nothing but pythagoras theorem so i try to squeeze in here so d is square root of the horizontal distance so the horizontal distance what's the horizontal distance for the horizontal distance you go from 212 to you have to go from 212 to 300 okay so if you what's the if you when you go from 212 to 300 the horizontal distance is 88 squared okay so that means using uh, let me use a five uh, ruler so put this is the horizontal distance okay and this is the uh, vertical distance so what i'm saying is to find the horizontal distance you have to say what is the distance from 21 if you go from 212 to 800 the distance is so this is your say uh, 88 okay so we're using pythagoras theorem and the vertical distance is from 303 to 250 so from 300 from 300 to 250 it is 50 and then you go to 3 so this distance is 53 so using pythagoras so this is the distance so d is 88 squared plus 53 squared just like that okay, use your simple logic from 303 if you want to go to 250 don't worry about the negative it's only 303 to 250 the distance or from 250 to 303 the distance is 53 so i'll use a calculator so uh, shift square root uh, using pythagoras it is 88 squared plus 53 squared and the uh, i should have put this in bracket shift square root uh, 88 80 is 88 squared can't have it such a big number plus 53 squared close the bracket yes this is the answer this makes sense so it's 102.7 meters so you can say it's 103 meters so the distance is 100 so the distance uh, you can say between church between church and park entrance of park entrance entrance of park was how much uh, 103 meters is 103 meters hopefully this is in meters or kilometers whatever the unit is okay see you in the next video